Hello, it's Troy Parker with Innovative Labor and Cleaning, and this is part five of self-confidence. Let's dig in. Fifth, I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. Now I wanna stop right there. This is kind of the golden rule philosophy but what I gathered from this, especially since my crime involved fraud, one big lesson I learned is that my behavior affects many people, even though I might not see it. And many times we feel that, ah, well, I'm gonna do this, but it's not, nobody's gonna know. It always affects someone. We are all connected. So when you engage in a transaction, no matter what it might be, make sure it's a win-win for everyone. You hear people talk about that in business, but many times their win-win really isn't a win-win for everybody. Make sure that you deal with people honestly and upright and make sure you look to see that they're getting a benefit as much as you're getting one also. Let me continue reading. I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of others. I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, cynicism by developing love for all humanity because I know a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I will believe in them and in myself. Now this paragraph really says a lot. Besides dealing with people honestly and making sure there's a win-win. It talks about by doing this, you will attract the forces. Now, a lot of people say, well, what forces are you talking about? The forces could be people. It could be intuitive ideals. It can be other resources. I can't count the number of resources and forces that came to me to help me in various times. There were days that I didn't know, okay, how I was gonna make it from A to B but somebody who knew somebody would refer them to me and I would get the help I need. Or the right idea would come to me and I'd say, okay, that might work and I would try that. So by dealing with people in an equitable manner and continuously trying, continuously telling yourself you can achieve this, basically you're setting up a vibration that the universe and all around you will bring to you everything you need. Now also key in this paragraph is creating and having a love for all. I always explain to my team, no matter what someone does, there have been people who came here, worked a couple days and left, didn't call, just left. But I still wish them the best and them to have success in what they do. It might just not have been their time to be here or there might be something better for them out there. Even times people have done things that weren't completely honest I still wish them well. To wish someone ill or to look at others as competitors only hurts yourself. There are other companies that do the same service that we do, such as Ron Hall's cleaning service. And when I run across Ron Hall's company and a customer will mention, hey, we're getting a bid from Ron Hall, I never speak disparagingly about him. I always say they're a good company. I don't look at other companies as competition because I feel there's plenty out here for them. And anything that is meant for our company is ours. That's just a universal law. By going out speaking badly about competition, wishing bad for others, it's much like the saying goes, drinking the poison and expecting someone else to get sick. When you wish bad on others or think bad on others or anything like that, you have to remember, you have to think that negative thought that you're wishing on someone else. So you first create it in your own mind. And what have we already talked about? What you create in your own mind, it has to grow. So if we have a field and we decide we're gonna plant some arsenic in our field, but we're wishing it to do bad on Jim's field, way over there. When the arsenic grows, whose field is it gonna grow in? That's right, ours. And that's the same way a negative thought or a negative intention works. So keep in mind, people may do things that you don't feel that were quite right. Let them go. The laws of the universe will take care of them on their own. 
Don't wish them bad and don't send ill will their way. Wish them the same good you want for yourself. Wish that same good to them. And you will see success will come to you in overwhelming abundance. I hope this helps you. Please share and always remember, it's up to you to make your life matter.